It's Gerald W. Brister, and my topic today has to do with welding fumes, stick welding. Uh, before I left Western Welding, I had several students that were concerned about the welding fumes, particularly for stick welding. Uh, you know, the flux produces the uh, smoke, which shields the welds, and so you're going to get a little bit of that. There's no way out of it. Go read on a welding cab what it says about those fumes. Cadmium, mercury, uh, I forget what all. It's a soup of things that are not good for you. So what do you do about that? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. One of them is you want to learn, if you're just learning to weld, and it's easier than trying to break yourself from an old habit. If you're just learning how to weld, make sure you keep that elbow out here and get an arm's distance away. That's going to be number one. And number two is, I think these drop shields help you. Because if you have this drop shield on, the smoke is hitting, it's diffusing it around you. Whereas if you're using this pancake, your nose and your mouth are exposed to that smoke. So that's not too good. I like them both, but these are just tips if you're worried about the fumes. And then the third thing is, uh, years ago my doctor told me about a synthetic amino acid, and it's the one that the FDA approves for lead poisoning. And uh, it was discovered years ago by Hitler's guys, actually, from what I read. And they were getting lead poisoning, uh, painting the ships in World War II. What it does is it's chelator, C-H-E-L, chelator. And it's like a crab in Latin, I believe. And it pulls the heavy metals out of your bloodstream. So you can uh, chelate with EDTA. It's a big, long, literally, a word this long, ethyl dye something. But EDTA, you can go look it up online. My doctor recommended it. I took some IVs, you can take them with IVs, it takes about 30 minutes. You can take them with capsules over time, and you can do suppositories. All I know is, he recommended it, I did it for a couple of years, and uh, there was some lead got loose on a job, I mean some mercury, and we were all tested. We were called back from the job after a layoff to test with the mercury. And uh, my test came back so low, when I went to get it, the doctor had told him to have me talk to him. He couldn't believe, after me well in so many years, that I had so little heavy metals in my system. And I believe it's from staying away from it, and I believe it was from taking EDTA. Go look it up online. That's your tip for today.